Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. So we are back with our first empties of 2024 today. Now, if you didn't know, it is my mission this year to use up 200 products. I've tried to do this type of challenge before and I was so, so close. So I really wanna hit that 200 or more mark. As always with my empties, we're gonna start in wash day order with pre -poos, Beauty and Planet Maru Butter and Rose for color treated hair conditioner. I get the big sizes of the ones that I like from Target. I really enjoyed this one. My favorite so far though is the lavender, which I have not been able to find at Target on the ground, but I've seen it kind of floating around on Walmart and Target's websites. But this stuff is really, really good. It's a really solid conditioner that gives me a lot of slip. It has like a nice thick consistency, but not too thick. So it stays on my strands really nicely. It moisturizes like a dream. I could even play around with this as a deep conditioner, I think, if I left it on in that way. But for a pre-poo, it does a great job. Not as much slip as like my Swap Everlasting Sunshine or some of my VO5s from back in the day, but the moisture that this gives, the size that you get and the slip that it does provide makes it one of my favorite new brands for pre poos on the other end of the spectrum I was introduced to their cousin if you guys have seen Beauty and Planet the smaller size this size very very similar vibes I always see them as like cousins even though they are totally different brands so this is the refresh scalp care anti-dandruff conditioner with salicylic acid it's the coconut and sue variety these I used just recently for my one month one set of products challenge where for the entire month I just had about like six products I was using for every wash day that month and that one was tough but I got through it but it let me know that I was not a fan of this particular variety from refresh I have a couple more from them so we'll see what happens but as far as this like coconut variety not for me didn't do anything as far as slip in fact when I put it on my hair it just felt like a chore you guys ever use a product on your hair and it just feels like ugh this again that old chestnut <laughs> like these were not pleasant to use like i would put them in my hair and usually if i put something like that on my curls and it just feels like it's just sitting there it's just coating it if i give it a little bit of time usually things will soften up my body heat will help things penetrate a little bit better but with these that was a that was not fun the best way that i could use these was i would put them on my hair let them kind of sit for a bit and then get in the shower and let the shower and the water and the warmth kind of help me to detangle with it but other than that, it was not a pleasant experience. And if I had to choose between the Refresh and Beauty and Planet, no contest. Beauty and Planet all day. Now, this one was pretty good. This is from Tresemme, their Pro Pure Conditioner. This is the Damage Variety. I also have the Moisture Variety in this same exact packaging. And they are pretty much identical products. I got a few of these, including the Refresh during this random haul at Bed Bath & Beyond. They had a beautiful clearance section that day and I got a ton of pre-poos. But it checked all the boxes that I looked for a pre-poo. Nice consistency, moisturizes, gives me some slip. This one was very enjoyable and I think I have a couple more left in my stash. If not of this one, then the moisture one. Now on to my slip boosters. It cannot be an empties video without one or both of these in there. We've got the African Pride Moisture Miracle, Aloe and Coconut Water Detangle and Condition Pre-Shampoo. Love these. I've been talking about these on my channel now for years. I will combine one of my conditioners for pre-pooing and then add one of these aloe base slippery slimy snotty consistency products on top just to boost the slip of whatever I'm using. And as I always mention the reason I have to combine these with a conditioner is because on their own they kind of leave my hair feeling dry so I need the moisture of the conditioner plus the ooey gooey slippiness of these products and they do an awesome job. This one is from the Just For Me Kids line the Curl Piece Tender Head Pre-Shampoo Detangler. Every time I read that name I just flash back to me as a little girl and how this would have been so nice for me and my mom so both of these I like to alternate one month I'll use one the next I'll use the other but they both get that super super slippery consistency from the aloe vera that's very high on the ingredient list I don't really have one at this point that I favor over the other one because the performance is so so similar something I've been doing for my pre poos for the past year year and a half or so is also adding some oil to them just to level up the nourishment level up the slip level up the good stuff going into my hair and scalp and the one that I've been using mostly for this is the curly AF grapeseed fusion hair strengthening Ayurvedic hair oil I will just drizzle a little bit of this bad boy into one of my slip boosters whenever we talk about curly AF I always mention how I don't know right now if they're still around I would usually keep up with them on Instagram but because I haven't really been on Instagram for the past like 
I don't know, eight months. I'm trying to like tiptoe back on there recently. But Curly AF was on Etsy and they would take long hiatuses. This is a really solid oil that I've used to mix with other products on wet hair, straight hair, dry hair, curly, you name it. This is one of my saddest used up products in a while. This is from Sisters Keeper Products. They're organic black soap shampoo and body wash. This is the best black soap shampoo I've ever used. It is so just something about it is very very special just a little bit produces the most silky satiny conditioning moisturizing lather ever so this lasted me forever in a day I'm gonna miss this so much it left my strands feeling slick like the cuticle was laying down because my strands naturally are very coarse the cuticle wants to do like this when you want it like this to keep the moisture in and this laid them down so so nicely like the tiles on a roof so good this got my hair really really clean to the point of being clarified without that squeaky feeling curls are super defined after this shampoo really shiny just a top tier awesome shampoo that I'm gonna miss so so much I'm gonna show you guys the back of <laughs> the product just in case anyone I always mention this just in case someone out there is a DIY girl and wants to start her own line because sisters keeper is no longer around anymore so I'm hoping that one day someone makes this so I can buy it all up again because DIY is not my forte so I'm hoping that someone out there will replicate this in all of its awesomeness got distilled water plantain skin palm kernel oil palm oil cocoa pot ash coconut oil honey and a natural preservative and I feel like the moisturizing ingredients like the honey in there the coconut oil for the emollients that really made the difference in balancing the incredible cleansing power of the African black soap so it was just such a great balance I'm gonna miss this as you can see this thing has been well loved I would be shocked if anyone can actually really make this ingredient list out this is one of the products one of the few that I would maybe try to attempt to duplicate it because I just love it so so much so thank you so if one of you ever starts your own business and decides to release the version 2.0 of this let me know this is the curly proverbs pro strip henna powder this is my favorite henna the one that you guys are going to see going forward after i used up my last bag of the curly proverbs henna and aloe mask i used that to stretch this a little bit because i had almost enough for my whole head but not quite so i used a little bit of the henna and aloe just to stretch my mixture a little bit and y'all that one always gets like little pieces of henna particles stuck in my hair due to the powdered aloe vera i don't know if you'll be able to see on my sweatshirt but i actually like knocked a lot of it off before i started filming but i'm already like having a lot of henna particles just get on my shirt from that little bit of that mixture that i used so i am not going to be buying that one anymore even though i like the color results but not as much as this one the pro strip henna powder is just straight up henna so if you are new to henna I would kind of dip your toe in it, maybe do henna glosses versus doing like a full on henna treatment without any conditioner in the mix if you're using this because this stuff is intense. I use it in my hair strengthening routine so I still do a heavy duty protein treatment but I also do this in addition but mostly for the color benefits but I do notice the strengthening that it provides as a byproduct when I am coloring my hair so this stuff is so awesome you guys. It applies so smoothly, it rinses so well, no little henna particles when I use this one. I think I have enough to get me through until black friday this year and then i am definitely definitely stocking up and in case you are new to my channel i usually get a lot of like snow white grays right here and then like in the middle of my crown and i've been using the henna to color my hair now for over two years and it does a great job you can't see in this lighting but i will pop up one of my recent henna after two years videos but in the sunlight you can see that my hair has a very bright red auburn glow that is just so so pretty so definitely recommend checking that out and another henna specific product that I used up is the Tresemme Expert Selection Botanique Nourish and Replenish Coconut Milk and Aloe Vera Conditioner. This is a deep conditioner that was so so on its own but I like to use this after rinsing out the majority of my henna to slather my hair in it soften things up a bit because henna is not moisturizing in any way shape or form in fact it can be a bit drying so it's recommended that you follow up with a moisturizing conditioner so after I get most of it out I'll apply a conditioner like this like one of my cheapies really go to town and slather my hair in it so that any particles that I do miss will come out while it's also re-moisturizing my hair after that process and this one did a pretty good job it had the right consistency to really glob onto my hair use it one of my multi-use favorites the Sultanicals can't believe it's not butter
butter. Sultanicals has a lot of varieties of these like lightweight creams that I can use so many different ways. I've used this product in particular as a solo one and done styler with no leave-in conditioner, no gel, just this straight out of the shower, twist my hair and I'm done. I've used it on dry hair to re-moisturize, put my hair up in a bun. I've used it as a moisturizer layered over a leave-in conditioner under a gel. It smells really good and has a consistency that just sinks right into my hair. I've been holding on to this one for a while. I think they've changed their packaging and I just think their packaging is so pretty and artisanal and just meant to be on like a cute bathroom counter. But it is different now but that doesn't change the fact that I would totally repurchase this. This is the Beige of Flood Naturals Creme Brulee for Kinks, Curls, and Coils. It's an herbal moisturizer and a light styler for all textured hair types. I did a video with Beige Floor Naturals years and years ago. I reviewed this product, their Maracuja Hair Milk, and their oil. And by far, this was the standout for me. It smells like a sugary cream cheese frosting. This is the most accurate, like if you like Cinnabon smell, this is the closest I've found to the real thing. It smells so good. It lasts on your hair for days and days and days. So if you like really desserty gourmand type of fragrances and you want to extend that to your hairstyling as well, totally recommend the Beige Flora Creme Brulee. Now as a product in general, I rediscovered last year just how much I like this. This is another one that pairs well with a lot of other products. I have also used this as a one and done by itself. And although it's not as creamy and moisturizing as the Sultanicals Not Butter, this one on its own gave me a really nice amount of hold. This is like a stiffer cream as well. So I was able to use it to slick back my hair as well. Definitely on my future repurchase list. Moving on to our stylers, I used up a sample of the Curly Magic Curl Stimulator. These are great for me to take over to my boyfriend's house when I just want something to be able to put my hair up in a ponytail or a bun. I've also used these when I'm traveling, which is a great way that I've been using them up because I have so much Curly Magic in my stash that it's not even funny. So I'm usually able to get one use out of samples like this. I'm gonna have a lot of these in my next empties video because they are left over from John, my roommate slash best friend, who is married now and expecting a baby. So it's just me here along with a lot of his almost used gels that he left behind. So I would use like a little bit that he had down here to put my hair back just to use them up. I've also used this gel on dry hair to braid my hair up and leave it in for like two or three days. The braids don't look good themselves, but the resulting braid out is beautiful. So it's done a really good job that way, surprisingly. Extreme gel with aloe vera. You can find this at Target, Walgreens, so many different places. And I think as of right now, it's still under $5, which is good. I hope that can remain because everything else is getting a little bit, a little much, a little much. This is my best friend's favorite go-to gel and our hair is very, very different. He has very long, very straight, fine to thick hair. My hair is coarse, curly, and very long and incredibly dry. And it works so good for both of us. Definitely expect for our next empties to have like seven of these in there. Moving on to skin and body goodies, I used up this Shea Moisture Olive and Green Tea Bubble Bath and Body Wash with avocado oil. I have been really enjoying the Shea Moisture Body Washes for years and years, and this is the first year that I'm starting to branch out into other things like Native and Castile Soap, but the body washes from Shea Moisture never did me wrong. They left my skin feeling really soft, clean, never that dry, tight feeling that your skin can get with stuff that just overly cleanses. I definitely didn't use any of these for the scents. Native is definitely delivering there for me when it comes to that. This one I've had had forever and a day and I was so happy to use it up. This is from Ology. I think this is a Walgreens brand or CVS brand and it's a plant-based body wash with almond oil and shea butter and I got this at the time from my nephew who had very sensitive skin, really bad eczema so whenever he was staying with me I could use something like this that wouldn't irritate and I ended up using this up this year just to kind of get it up out of my stash. It's an okay body wash. I definitely wouldn't purchase it again. I think now there are a lot more options out there for people with eczema that if I do ever have him with me again, which is very, very unlikely because they've moved to Georgia, so I don't see them nearly as much as I would like to. But if I ever did, there are so many other things I could get for him. But this is okay. Okay smell, okay lather, just okay on everything. Definitely one that even if I was on vacation, I wouldn't pick this one up because there are a lot of other stuff out there that I like more than this ology stuff. Same goes for this one. It's okay, but there's so many other varieties, but from the same company that I like a lot more. This is the Iced Coffee Shea Sugar Scrub from Tree Hut, my favorite, favorite brand of all time of scrubs. I got two of these from Walmart last year during a really nice clearance haul as well. And the only reason I don't love this is just I'm just not a big coffee girl. It definitely has that very like wake you up coffee fragrance. So that's nice. But as far as the overall do I enjoy the scent, 
not so much but they were on clearance i was like whatever i just want something that's gonna get my skin feeling all nice and pretty but when it comes to tree hut for the most part they all perform in a similar way i would say that this is my least favorite i've tried not only for the scent though but for the performance as well this still performs better for me than like 99 percent of other brands that i've tried but as far as compared to it's like sisterin of other products from tree hut i definitely like those scents more and i feel like the actual exfoliators made my skin feel a bit better and softer as well use up this clear Sonic Gentle Hydro Cleanser. This came with my Clarisonic so that I can tell you how long I've had this because I've had my Clarisonic for a good while as well. But it came with some skincare goodies when you would purchase including this cleanser and another one I'm currently using and that I keep at my boyfriend's house. That has been a great way for me to use up a lot of my samples. Just keep some stuff over there so that I can use up and they can end up in the empties a lot quicker than if they were just hanging around here. Did an okay job getting my skin feeling relatively clean. It kind of has like a creamy gel hybrid. If I felt like I had like residue in my face from like my sunblock or something, this didn't cleanse well enough for me to feel like I got all of that off, but it just did the job for like a quick little face wash. And last but definitely least, because I did not enjoy this at all, this is my least favorite product of this whole empties, you guys. This is a sample that I got with another purchase that I don't even like. I got these MAC eyeshadows that were really pretty and shimmery, but the shimmer is so big that the flecks like fall into my eyeball and they hurt. So that whole shopping experience was a big no. But I got this Clinique Fresh Press Daily Booster with pure vitamin C 20% and I was excited to use this because I've heard about the skin brightening effects that the vitamin C can have for your skin I thought this would be a nice little introduction since I'm always looking for simple easy ways for me to upgrade my skincare routine since I'm not a skincare girly I saved this just to show you guys the instructions were like kind of for me a lot as someone who's not into skincare a lot but it came with all like this type of stuff like Bill Nye like what are we doing right now so you wait until you are actively gonna be using this product and then you push this little guy in and you like shake it because it like releases the complex into the solution so that it's at its peak efficiency for your skin and you're supposed to use this within seven days and every time I use this was so unpleasant the consistency is kind of like a serum and when I used it on my face my face felt itchy and I am someone who knock on wood has relatively tolerant hair and skin when it comes to ingredients there are a couple here and there that I don't do great with and this must be one of them I would use it and it would just make my skin feel very just tight kind of itchy like just not pleasant even when I would use it underneath something else it wasn't good so I ended up using it on my neck to use it up and although it didn't give me that itchy feeling it didn't make my neck feel great I didn't notice any brightening because again this is supposed to be used within seven days but I'm good on this no thank you really really happy that this is this is gone so that brings us to 19 products of course I was hoping to use up a lot more stuff and just like always I have things in my stash right now now that are like one or two uses away from being able to include them in the empties. So I'm hoping for a nice big old robust empties for our next one. So I'm going to be doing a total of four empties videos every three months this year so that we can do our like quarterly check-ins to see where we are with that 200 products goal. And right now we're at 19 products out of 200. So we have a long, long way to go. But as I mentioned to you guys in my end of the year video for 2023, this is going to be the year of the challenges. I've already done my first challenge and I'm starting my next one on already in April so that'll be our video for next Friday if you're seeing this at the end of March April's video first one our new challenge that we're gonna be doing this is a huge thing that a lot of people do to their hair that I have been doing that I it's like hair 101 so I'm doing a challenge to get myself in the habit of doing it so make sure you check back next week for that video but I really hope that you guys enjoy what will hopefully be our smallest empties video of the year we're gonna start with this one and then hopefully just build and build and build for the rest of the ones for 2024 and use up a ton of stuff this year to get to that 200 product goal. So if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps out more than I can tell you guys. YouTube loves the interaction. It loves the thumbs ups, the shares, the comments, all the above. So I really, really appreciate it. Likewise, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so as well. I'd love to have you. I got tons of videos planned. I think all the challenges that I have planned for this year are really going to push the product uses up out of here into the empties, which I'm very excited about. And also, if you guys haven't seen my latest video before this one, my curl mix, first time using their 
Masters collection on my wash and go video. If you got some time, pretty please check it out. It's my first sponsored video of the year here on YouTube and every view really goes a long way on videos like that so I really appreciate it. In addition, Curl Mix is also having their crowdfunding event where you can invest in Curl Mix and own a piece of the company so if they ever sell in the future you'll get some money back in return. So that is going to be ending on April the 1st so highly recommend checking out my video. I go into the details about their initiative, what they've got planned and also show you guys their awesome Masters collection. So I will make sure to post a little eye up here if you want to check that out and also post a link to the video in my pinned comment in the comment section. Remember that I upload videos every Friday with some short form content in the meantime in between time and I will see you all really soon in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye!